Hello everyone, this is Koushik Bose once again from Campus Technology, a portfolio company of Times of India Group. Today, I will be discussing about a communication style, its barriers and uh, inclusion of technology in communication. Now, let's start with communication style. Communication style refers to the manner in which individuals express themselves, convey messages and interact with others. There are several communication styles including assertive, passive, aggressive and in between like passive aggressive. I will briefly discuss these points. Now, when I talk about assertive communication style, assertive communication involves expressing one's thoughts, feelings and needs in a direct, confident and respectful manner. It emphasizes clear and honest expression while also considering rights and the uh, feelings of others. Say to friends, they are having a communication. If it's assertive, many positive thoughts Many positive things can come out of that communication. The relationship can grow better, improve. If you put your uh, topic or, or a topic of conversation with the proper feeling, emotion, and if it is direct, if you are confident and respectful, the other person <coughs> will understand you. I always remember that <coughs> this weather change, I'm so sorry. <coughs> always remember that being respectful is one of the most important aspect of assertive communication. Always remember that the person whom you are conversing with, with whom you are communicating with, deserves your respect. You can be very direct. Yes, we all are very confident. But if you are respectful, the whole conversation, the whole Communication makes sense. The other person will listen to you. The other person will like to interact with you. The other person will understand your feelings and needs. So, it is always recommended that our communication style should be assertive. The other communication style, as I said, is a passive communication style. Now, what is passive communication? Passive communication is characterized by avoiding conflict, suppressing emotions, and prioritizing others' needs over one's own. Individuals with a passive style may struggle to assert themselves and may have difficulty expressing their opinions or boundaries. Say, a friend came to you with a problem. Maybe the friend, if I can give an example like, uh, a friend came to me in my 
during my college days he needed he seeked help but he could not say that look uh, can you please help me on this i can't understand it this could have been you are better than me i could not understand it so can you please help me on this but he did not do that he came to me and said that let's study together uh we can help each other i will try to uh help you in these topics you can help me in these topics so i kind of understood that he needs help in those topics though i was not very uh weak in the topics he was offering me to uh make me understand i said okay fine you tell me those things these topics these chapters i will talk about i will make you understand we will discuss these chapters and you know going through that process i realize that my understanding of those topics became better and i could actually help my friend so i what i did was i did not uh firstly said i know the chapters which you are offering me to 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 make me understand i did not go into any conflict i did not say that okay okay fine i know you want help from me why are you telling why can't you be straight i understood my friend so i respected his thoughts and i accepted his offer another style of uh communication style is aggressive communication style in this aggressive communication style this involves forceful hostile or mm, it's like a confrontational behavior that disregards others feeling or rights this style can lead to conflict intimidation and breakdowns in communication relationships two friend having a fight fights in the family they are confronting and as a result they part they break break up and part away i would never recommend anyone to practice aggressive communication style yes there are time when our certain emotions control us and we become aggressive maybe for a reason or for no reason whatsoever so we always try to keep a control on our emotion so when we are communicating make it a point that it should be assertive so that the respect the bonding is there and avoid aggressive communication like it doesn't actually help in any relationship yes that's a part of life also that's why we are discussing this but that's something which we do not like to keep in our life 
it's like a blister in our uh, in our feet when we uh, wear a new shoe it will give you that small pain all the time even if you win a <clears throat> uh, a debate with aggressive communication style but you will you will find after afterwards that you are not satisfied with it you are not happy with it so what's the use of a communication which breaks and doesn't make you know what i mean so we will try to avoid aggressive communication style another style is passive aggressive communication style it's a bit confusing for me also <coughs> i have seen people who are passive aggressive it combines elements both passive and aggressive styles <laughs> they will not confess to you they will not come straight to you and they will force you you can't stop others when i was discussing this with a batch of stu called students a couple of weeks back they asked me how do you respond to that i said that when someone is aggressive to me i have two options one to be aggressive opposite i am also aggressive the other thing which i can do is and which i mostly do is i am in the receiving end i keep quiet i listen because i know that this whole thing will pass away this will pass by for me a relationship is more important than my ego so i respect my all my relationships i there can be miscommunications misunderstandings and one can be annoyed with you one can be angry with you one can be unhappy with you it might not be totally your fault or it might be your fault we are all humans we all make mistakes to err is human as dante said so it's more important to accept if you know how to accept your own mistakes if you know to understand someone who is trying to communicate with you whatever the style is you are actually helping yourself you are helping yourself to come control your emotions you are helping yourself to help the relationship and to respect the relationship and you can continue with that relationship and that becomes more important so as i said assertive passive assertive is good passive is okay but for me aggressive communication is a big no no you know on this note i would say uh, in football fields i have seen a lot of uh, aggressive communication two teams playing supporters of two teams sitting side by side shouting at each other and i have seen 
after the match they are they all are leaving the ground with a smile or by giving a high five to each other or congratulating the winning team or maybe having a fight now we all know that we will never uh we will never go for a fighting we will always go for a high five and wait for the next match so it is always suggested that go for assertive communication style practice assertive communication style improve your patience level improve your tolerance level i would rather say like i believe that it is it is important that we accept rather than tolerate so aggressive and passive aggressive are the two styles which we generally like to avoid and so we do not like to carry on with those styles i will quickly come to the next part of my discussion next segment of my discussion where i would talk about the barriers to effective communication <clears throat> effective communication can be hindered by various barriers that impede the clarity understanding and effectiveness of messages common barriers to communicate are like say language barriers differences in language vocabulary or communication styles can lead to misunderstandings and misinterpretations there can be cultural differences varied cultural norms values and communication patterns may result in communication challenges especially in cross cultural interactions one of my friend <coughs> who got married <coughs> to a girl who is from the other part of the country both of them met in their office one comes from east the other comes from south the office was in north their common language was english they had both the barriers which i have mentioned language barrier and cultural differences uh did you read the book called two cities two states you will know what i am talking about it's a chetan bhagat novel they met they got engaged they had no problems the problem started with their parents because the boy from the east his parents do not speak the language and they are not very well versed in english either the girl from south his her parents spoke english but their rituals were different so what happened was we friends had a good time they had they i mean both the people individuals the boy and the girl somehow convinced the parents and <clears throat> they said that we will get married in three ways one like the east eastern ritual the southern ritual and then 
the other one which is uh, a legal one so we had actually they had given us they had thrown party thrice and we friends enjoyed that so though there was a language barrier and cultural differences they actually overcame with everything and which is actually wonderful this is a wonderful country with wonderful people all around the country and more there are language barriers and cultural differences but in today's world these things are not very uh important as far as i have seen as much as i have seen because our countrymen like to accept and not tolerate now coming in a very serious uh, i mean a point which is a bit serious yeah language barriers and cultural differences are serious there are sad stories also which i have heard but there are more happy stories but they are important points whatsoever so after language barriers and cultural differences i would like to talk about another few points which are uh, like lack of clarity unclear or ambiguous messages can be confusing and they can hinder understanding as we said if it is not an assertive style if it is not straight and simple if it is not concise if someone is trying to tell you something which you are not understanding or the clarity is not there then there is a problem effective communication doesn't happen there there are also uh like language barriers there are also emotional barriers strong emotions such as anger fear or anxiety can impact communication by affecting tone body language and receptivity as i was telling the styles the aggressive style and passive aggressive styles when people become very emotional that actually hinders a positive communication an effective communication there can be technological barriers also over reliance on technology or tech uh, technical issues such as poor connectivity or digital distraction which we all faced uh, during the pandemic we had te- uh, technological barriers there were times when i was taking online classes sometimes the sound is coming sometimes the picture is not coming it was a lot of confusion initially in initial months of 2020 but slowly the technology has improved by the time we had the delta in 2021 the delta version of the covid our technology has actually improved that is why human being is such an amazing species we kind of fight almost everything and come out successful as of date we did that so technological barriers are there where there is a lot of over dependence over reliance and you don't keep options in your hand that can disrupt communication there are physical barriers physical barriers like noise distance or environmental factors can also interfere 
uh, with effective communication. Now, my last segment would be, as I was discussing, the technology, the inclusion of technology in communication. Technology has significantly transformed how we communicate offering various tools and platforms that enhance connectivity, collaboration, and information sharing. Like uh, the digital communication tools, email, instant messaging, video conferencing, social media. These uh, tools enable real-time communication and global connectivity. That is fantastic. Virtual collaboration platforms, tools like like Google Workspace, Microsoft Teams and others, the document sharing, the project management across geographically dispersed teams, the mobile communication, the most, most accessible, accessible and important communication, mobile devices and apps enable communication on the go, enhancing accessibility and flexibility in communication social media platforms such as facebook twitter linkedin provide avenues for networking community building and brand promotion so many people are are, are watching you at the same time so many advertisements are happening everywhere we can we can we can see more <clears throat> now a time of AI, the artificial intelligence, the AI powered communication tools offered like, like there are um, chatbots and um, automated responses and data analysis. These uh, the enhancing efficiency and personalization in communication. Another thing like AI is virtual reality and um, augmented reality, AR and VR. These technologies uh, enable immersive and interactive communication experiences such as virtual meetings, training sim simulations and virtual tours. Ethical considerations is another point. Inclusion of technology in communication requires consideration of privacy, security, digital etiquette. Uh, we call it, uh, what is the word? Netiquette and responsible use of data and information. We, we keep telling this to our children. Watch. But watch carefully. Use, but use carefully. So overall understanding communication styles and identifying barriers to effective communication and uh, Leveraging the technology can enhance communication effectiveness, promote collaboration and foster inclusive, inclusive and meaningful uh, interaction in diverse contexts. On that note, I will conclude my this discussion. I will be giving you certain activities which I would request you to do it once and send it to us so that we can have a look at it and we can also understand how you are understanding this, going through this, and uh, you are applying it the way it, it should be applied. On that note, thank you so much for listening to me. I will come back again with another video with another topic on communication. Please go through the activity portion where I will be writing some interesting activities <clears throat> which will definitely help you in uh, improving your communication. Thank you so much.
have a good day